Hi, Freddy. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And what about you, Miss? I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm ready with the last. The last one, man. Hmm. But I hope that you will be your teacher on the, the next day. course. Well, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. Hi, Astrid. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Excellent. How was your day, Freddy? How was your day, Astrid? Well, my day was a little bossy because I have to go on my job. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So today I work. I work. Right. Okay. Okay. And do you work far from your house? Yes. Uh, I just have to walk two, uh, two blocks. Oh, two blocks and you're in your job. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> cool. I like that. All right. Okay. All right. I so don't have problem with the traffic. I know. I have expenses and everything. That's nice. But yeah. you don't, you don't drive those two blocks, do you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, okay. Now, Freddy, has your job or the business that you work for has it been affected by this whole um, COVID nineteen? Uh, yes, because we have lost for uh, um, like three weeks. Okay. Completely closed. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but now you're like beginning to work again, or or you're like, uh, maybe not all day, but some mm -hmm. some day on the week. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, I see. Interesting. What about you, Astrid? Do you do you have to go to work, or you work from home? No, I work uh, from home. Yes. All right. Okay. And you're here in San Salvador, Astrid? Yes, I here in San Salvador. Okay. I live in Ilopango and oh. I work that. All right. Okay. Okay. So, and also the, the place that you work for, has it been affected by all this? Yes. Yeah. The, the, the company was affected by COVID-19. Right. But yeah. we have to, we, we will try to, we are, we're trying to, yeah. to do less. Affected. Right, of course. In, in our case, in our case, mm -hmm. the more affect is with the providers and okay. with the process, with the providers, with the payments, etc. Right. Yeah. Of with course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I imagine. Oh my goodness. All right. Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. <laughs> All right. Good. Nice. Nice that you are here in class. As Freddy was saying, girls and Freddy, this is the last class of uh, TOEFL preparation course too. All right, so we're getting ready for the next course. Hopefully, um, we'll be together. But in case we're not, you know that it's going to continue, right? With the same, I mean, with the same ideas. All right, so that's the whole point here for you to practice as much as possible. So in a way, you feel like a little bit more comfortable facing that kind of test all right if in case you're going to take it all right so in a, in a way you're not going to be like blind going to the test all right so that's the whole purpose behind it yesterday we were talking hi julia we were also talking Hello. well yesterday we were working on introductions on the introductory paragraph all right so today i promised that we were going to talk a little bit about the conclusion paragraph i just sent a few minutes ago I just sent the image, last slide of the PPT. I wasn't going to send the whole thing because you already have it. <clears throat> but that's the slide that we're going to be working with or the image that we're going to be working with according to the um, conclusions. All right. So right now I'm going to present it to you. It's the same thing that I just sent to you, but then we're going to uh, talk about it and then we're going to go to our groups and we're going to um, work a little bit on the conclusion. Uh, paragraph all right okay okay very good all right guys so this is it this is the con uh the oops 
This is the conclusion paragraph that I have for you. This one right here. So we're gonna read it together. So I, Astrid, do you mind reading for me, please? Conclusions? Okay, conclusions. So far, you have practiced writing the introduction, which restate the questions, any state, the, the controlling idea, and mm -hmm. writing the body, which discuss the questions. Mm -hmm. An effective easy essay essay also include essay 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 mm -hmm. also includes a, clo a, a concluding conclusion. paragraph that's right a concluding paragraph summarize your ideas mm -hmm. it is important to have a conclusion without one it may be, be difficult for the reader to know whether you have complete your essay or simply for now of the time all right very good so if you notice remember that i said this when we were i mean on monday that we were beginning the writing section i said the introductory paragraph and the conclusion paragraph is mandatory okay i'm not saying that the the uh, developmental paragraphs are not but those depend on how many words you're supposed to write on your essay so you may have two paragraphs three paragraphs five paragraphs however the conclusion and the introduction has to be doesn't matter even if you have just one developmental paragraph or just one body paragraph you still need to have one introduc introduction and one conclusion all right and it's being said right here all right just as we just read it and it says a concluding paragraph it's important it is important to have a conclusion all right because that way the person that is evaluating you knows that you have finished your essay, all right? If you wouldn't have one, it says right here, maybe the, the person evaluating you says, okay, maybe Freddie didn't have time or what happened, all right? So we're left waiting for something. So it's really, really important to have an introductory paragraph because that gives me, the reader or the evaluator, to know that you are talking about the same thing the question is and then also to have a conclusion because i understand that you finished your essay and your essay is complete all right very good saida can you keep on reading please okay to write an effective concluding paragraph follow this step mm -hmm. one Restate the thesis statement and different words. Okay. Restate the topic sentences from the development paragraph. Mm -hmm. State your opinion or preference, make a prediction or give a solution, and conclude with a statement that sum, sum, sum sums up, up, sums the, up. Uh -huh. sums up and the essay. Very good. All right. Thank you, Saida. So here again. Remember, like yesterday, we had on the introductory paragraph, we had four steps. All right, so here we have all, uh, like some other steps for the conclude, uh, concluding paragraph or the conclusion one, all right? So one of them, as Saida was reading, you have to restate the thesis statement, all right? Your thesis statement is your strongest point that you're going to be discussing or talking about during your entire essay, all right? Now, you have to restate it with different words. Oh, with that, watch it, guys, because um, on your introductory paragraph, you had a thesis statement. Don't copy paste it exactly the same. It says use different words, state it, but in a different, set it differently. All right, so you need to change it a little bit. Number two, restate the topic sentences from the developmental paragraphs. Okay, so you have to go back to the uh, topic sentences and the topic sentences, you're gonna find it on your introductory paragraph as well as on your body paragraphs. Then you have to state your opinion or preference. Remember that in these essays, sometimes they ask you, do you agree or do you disagree? Uh, you oppose or you support? So whatever they're asking you, you need to make reference to. And then the last one says conclude with sums up the essay, all right? So like, let's say the two final sentences, they wrap everything up from your 298 sentences or words before, all right? So make sure that you sum everything up at the very end of your concluding paragraph, all right? Continue, Freddie, please, when writing a conclusion. When writing a conclusion for the independent writing task, remember the following things. Mm -hmm. Keep 
it simple. A good conclusion strengthens your essay. Essay. However, oh, sorry, <laughs> essay. Yeah. However, it is better to use your time reading the developmental paragraph than to spend too much time on the concluding paragraph. Okay. Be sure it completes the essay. Essay, <laughs> essay yes. <laughs> The essay, your, your concluding statement tells your reader that you are finished. That's right. Be careful not, not, to, not to include new ideas in your conclusion, yeah. which will mm -hmm. make your reader think you are moving on to another topic. And that's very important, Freddy. Thank you so much. Remember that you're concluding the whole thing. You're concluding your essay right there. So be careful, don't add a new idea. All right, or something that you have not mentioned at all in your essay. All right, so you, you have to keep on the square, let's say, that you have already like written and that you have already discussed on your paragraphs. So make sure that when you get to the concluding paragraph, you don't make a new idea or you don't write a new idea or you don't mention something new or something different that you have not mentioned previously because then it's not a concluding paragraph, it's another paragraph, all right? So that one you conclude, uh, and that's very important. Remember that you guys saw on TOEFL 1 the other type of question, all right? Here we were studying, and these tips that I, I have been sharing with you are related to the independent writing question too. All right, so that's very important for you to remember, okay? There are two types of questions on your writing uh, section of your test, okay? So that's very important for you to keep in mind. Another thing that I like about this, it says keep it simple, all right? You don't have to, I was telling Maribel the other day, I don't know if Maribel is already in class. Yeah, she is. I yes, I am here, hi. Thank you. Good evening. I, good evening. I was telling Maribel the other day, it's, the introductory paragraph as well as the, conclu uh, the concluding paragraph, they don't need to be very long, all right? Usually, depending on how many words you need to write, but usually an introductory paragraph is going to be between six uh, and eight lines long. I don't think it would be longer than that because then it becomes a paragraph. All right, so the, the introductory paragraph and the concluding paragraph, it should be a little bit shorter than the other paragraphs, okay? So you need to keep it simple, all right? If you follow the steps that we, share, uh, that we shared and we showed you yesterday on the introductory ones, you won't get lost. At first, you might. Remember that for some of you, this is new, all right? But if you follow the steps, kind of like going back and forth to the question, don't put the question aside. The question has to be there, kind of like latente, like for you, there, present all the time. So it's better because then that way you follow it, all right? So what I want you to do, well, what I want us to do right now, I'm, we're, oops, we're gonna go back here. I just want, hold on. I just want you to, I'm gonna read this concluding paragraph. I know we read it already, but I just want you to, uh, Remember, because today we're trying to write the conclusion. This is the concluding paragraph from the sample essay I showed you on Monday, all right? So the conclusion, after a mother takes into account all of the above problems, the problems that the person mentioned on the paragraph one and on paragraph two, other problems unique to her situation, she must decide if a job outside the home is worth it. I believe they are restating the thesis statement right there. Look at this, guys. I want you to follow me here. Let's go back again to the introductory paragraph. Here it says, I believe that in the introductory, I believe that every mother has the right to work and the decision should be one that a woman takes on her own. That is the thesis statement. Let's go back to the conclusion. It says, I believe that even though she faces major obstacles, these obstacles are not in, uh, sur surmountable. Many mothers do work and manage a family very She's He or she, they are restating the thesis statement right there. Different in a 
in a different way, but they mentioned it, okay? Usted no puede perder de lado su thesis statement en su, con, en su párrafo de, con, de, uh, de conclusión, the conclusion paragraph, con el introductory paragraph. Tiene que volverlo a decir de diferente forma, all right? Para que el, el evaluador o evaluadora sepa que usted está siendo muy enfático y muy fuerte en su posición, all right? Pero no lo, está, no lo copió y pegó, lo re... Um, adecuó, lo volvió a decir de forma diferente, but you said it anyway, all right? And it says in conclusion, it's a woman's right to make her choice, this choice, and only the woman herself should decide this matter, all right? Y ahí dice, regrese esa última dos oraciones, it's a woman's right to make this choice, and only the woman herself should decide this matter. Regrese a la introductory, dice, I believe that every mother has the right to work and the decision should be one that a woman makes on her own. Yeah? So the introductory, ahí está el thesis statement y está otra vez en la conclusion paragraph. All right? So it's there, it matches. No me está dando nuevas ideas, no me está diciendo otra opinión. All right? Es la misma opinión en el introductory paragraph as in the concluding paragraph. All right, so you need to keep that in a balance. Si usted después de escribir todos sus párrafos de repente dice, ah, no, pero quizás ya no estoy de acuerdo, entonces regrese a su introductory paragraph y re hágala. Pero no puede tener two points of view, one in the introductory paragraph and one on your conclusion. Or one thesis statement on your introductory paragraph and a different um, thesis statement on your paragraph. That can happen. All right, todo lleva como un matching, ¿verdad? Tiene que ir como alineado, como el mismo tono, como la misma decisión. If I agree, if I disagree, if I oppose, if I support, it's the same thing, all right? Do you guys follow me here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. very good. I'm sorry that I tend to talk a little bit, but this, um, this oh. class I do teach Thanks. at university and sometimes it's very difficult for students to understand it, but you need to understand it, all right? So, again, si usted me dice, teacher, pero y la thesis statement y el uh, topic sentences, what's that? I mean, how do I do that? Hold your horses, all right? On TOEFL 3, ahí nos vamos a dedicar a una entera clase, dos clases, si la, si la vienen conmigo, de qué es un thesis statement, cómo se arma un thesis statement, cómo se arma un topic sentence, all right? Vamos paso a paso, all right? Yeah? You guys understand? Yes. Excellent. In all right. Spanish, in Spanish, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, Maribel, but I can't. All right, very good. Sometimes me doy esos breaks, all right? Very good. Okay. So, the idea now, guys, is we're going to go back to our groups, okay? Uh, with the essay that you guys were like writing the introductory paragraph yesterday, no sé si escogieron el, de, el teacher o si el, the other one, this parents, your life, it's better for future generations than your parents. It's, I, it's up to you which one you choose, all right? What I want you to do is I want you to go now to your groups, whoever you're working with doesn't matter, and say, okay, so if you did not finish quite your introductory paragraph, si ahora le tocó trabajar con Saida, dígale, mire Saida, listen to my introductory, a ver qué piensa usted. Y Saida tiene otras ideas y le dice, no, sigan los steps. De todas maneras, la presentación es la misma de ayer. La única que agregué fue la imagen que les mandé ahorita, hace un rato. All right, lo demás es la misma presentación. All right, pueden regresar y revisar los cuatro puntos del introductory paragraph. Si Freddy está trabajando con Saida, revísele, Freddy. A ver, ¿tenemos esto? Sí, ok, check. ¿Tenemos lo otro? No. O no me queda muy claro, so that way, right? It's the same thing with the concluding paragraph. Si gusta, trate de hacer el concluding paragraph ahorita para que al menos tenga un bosquejo, una idea en general cómo hacerla. All right? Acuérdese que este, ya sea por lo menos un essay, me tienen que mandar para Sunday a más tardar, pero de verdad Sunday ya como mediodía para que me dé chance de leerlo y mandar sus reportes, all right? So okay. keep that in mind. Acuérdese que el de, ni el ensayo, el essay, ni el speaking responses son evaluados en la plataforma. Ese reporte lo hago yo y es como nota parte, digamos, de todo lo demás que usted tiene que hacer. 
All right? Usted termine la plataforma, los ejercicios que sí son evaluados ahí y luego lo demás me lo manda a mí y yo se lo evalúo a usted. All right? Okay. So, guys, let's go. Y otra cosa. Guys, the pronunciation is essay. It's not essay. It's not essay. No, es essay. Eso no cuesta, no sé por qué, pero es para todos. Si les pasa todo, no se preocupen. All right, essay. All right, okay, guys. So, let's go to our groups and work ya sea introductory paragraph, lo terminan o lo revisan y luego con el concluding paragraph, ¿ok? Alguien se me salió. All right, so. There you go, guys. You can click on the um, groups now. Hi, Guillermo. Uh, good, good night, teacher. Good evening, Guillermo. Tiene problemas con la Inter? Uh, uh, no, uh, it's the battery. Uh, ah, it's, okay. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I'm going to send you right now to your group, okay? Okay, yes. Okay. Thank I'm you, sorry. Guillermo. I, no? yes, I am ready. Okay, uh, thank yes, you. Sorry. Don't worry about it. I sent the invitation, Guillermo. You may access to your group now.
I don't know this correct. I, I think that it's necessary that people can teach and and um, formal education had a had a good knowledge because it's it's easy to the students learn new things. I don't know. Yes, uh, a good a good example. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? Como va? We are discussing about the uh, conclusion. Okay. Um, uh, trying to understand completely. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, Guillermo. Very good. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. I have a, I have I have a question. Yes, my uh, so I was I was looking for a listening song of documental about teachers. So uh -huh. I think my conclusion uh, it will be with a with a phrase like the good teacher discovered the best version of the of their of their students. Okay, nice. It's related. It's related with the introduction when we put when we wrote. Uh, they encourage uh, to 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 study and the, right. and develop her her skills or something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's related. Mm -hmm. So sure. I I so I have to to write other other sentences, but I have the clue. All right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Very good, Maria. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Sure. Yes, and Julia. that. And the uh, essay that we need to send you, uh, we need to to <laughs> how do you say it? <laughs> to choose, to choose, to choose. <laughs> to choose. Uh, what topic. Maybe, maybe no, no. we can. <laughs> Julia, uh, for the essay that you're sending to me, you can choose the ones that are on the platform. Actually, that's the idea. You can choose either about the, the teacher one or the other one about uh, which life would contribute to future generations, if yours or your parents. Okay, so I like the teachers. <laughs> yeah, it's easier. Um, you don't have it to come easier, up yes. with another question, uh, Julia. It's already done for you. I mean, the question is already given, so you can work around that um, either or, I mean, if you want to make two essays, you want to write two, that's okay, but at least one, and then you send it to me, but from the platform. Teacher, yeah. teacher, okay. uh, other, other question. Yes, I Maria. would like to send you, I would like to send you my essay, and I would like you to help me with the grammar, maybe because. Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go so ahead. I will send you today. Sure. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's okay. So um, I'll I'll probably be checking it like tomorrow, Maribel. All right. But yeah, I'll send it to me and I'll check it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. the idea. Thank you. Very mm -hmm. good. Keep on working. Keep on working. <laughs>
¿Ah? Este, uh -huh. no, no espe ah, eh, por ese caso no especificó así. Hi, Maribel. Uh -huh. Hi, so only, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Guillermo. Only I have, uh, I no. have, uh, I need your help. Teacher. Yes, Maribel. Uh -huh. uh, on the platform and the, the final exam, uh, always we don't, uh, we don't, we can, we can, uh, Resolve some some questions, so I don't know if mm. you you could help us today to finish. They yeah. are they are only three three sentences, maybe. All right, the final one, three Maribel. Questions. Uh huh. The the final. Okay, just give me a second. Hello, teacher. Hi. Um. Hi. Uh, excuse me. Uh, can you explain explain me the final exam for the Sunday, please? Uh, the uh, final exam for I, on the platform, Guillermo. Uh, uh, yes, please. Okay, just give me a second here. I, uh, I could not uh, listen. <laughs> uh -huh. So I think that you have to send it the the, the essay. Yes, yeah. essay. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. uh, Let's see. Uh, which questions are you? Um... A question that we have to write them because on, always uh, are bad. bad, oh, bad. Really? Uh huh. Always. Hmm. And the midterm too. But I would like to know about the the answers. These answers. All right. Just give me a second. Ah, espérenme que estoy en el curso equivocado. <laughs> Hold on, Maribel, just give me a second. <laughs> Hold on, Maribel, que esto está calentando ahorita. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, okay, so the final exam sections three and four dice verdad ese es maribel mm -hmm. yes, sí. uh, yes. all right so let's see if you can see me here you know what we're going to do maribel vamos a regresar para hacerlo juntos please please uh -huh. Uh -huh. ahorita, ahorita. Yes. thanks yeah Hi guys, Astrid, Sandy, I mean Maribel, Guillermo, Freddy, Saida. Uh, I'm sorry I interrupted your uh, your um, writing of your concluding paragraph, but right now I want to um, go over the final exam on the platform. So you don't have to work on that and the essay. All right, so right now let's go. If you don't have it open, that's okay. It's I have it open here. All right, so here, this is the, the final exam of the platform, final exam sections three and four. That's the one, Maribel. Maribel. Mari. Maribel. Ese me hizo. Lista. Ese levantó, por eso no tiene la cámara prendida. Yes, it's Aha, Maribel. There you go. All right, Maribel, this is the one, oh. right? Okay, yes. so how much time is given in order for you to speak and an integrated question? Three? 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Are you sure, Maribel? In order for you to speak, yes. Si no me va a salir mala, it's going to be your fault. How much time will you be given to prepare? 20 seconds. In question so, five, 20 seconds. Okay. Yes. Uh huh, yes. Yeah. For the integrated questions three and four. This one. This ah, one. Vaya, <laughs> I don't know. Vaya, ahorita, deme aquí un segundo. Era la tres, ¿verdad? I have a problem with yes. the same. Yeah, question. all right, yeah. I, I'll give you the answer right now, guys. It should say reading and listening. Reading? And reading listen. and listening, yeah. Without period. Without period. Without it, just reading and listening without any period. Hello. 
Are you trying right now? Reading and listening. Okay. That's right. Teacher and the number five. All right, number five. Please. All right, yeah. Number five can be delivery, comma, uh -huh. language use, comma, and topic development. Delivery, language use, and topic development. Development, yes. Language. Number language five. use language use and topic development that's right yes so it's um hold on it is delivery comma language use comma topic development all right any other ones the last one the last one number, number 10. Uh, number 10 freddy Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, it's okay. Opinion, comma, agreement, comma, and preference. Opinion, comma, agreement, comma, and preference. Remember that after a comma, you have to like type a space. Opinion, comma, space, agreement, comma, space, preference. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so the meter, the other ones the you meter. can do. It. Okay. <laughs> if you if you want a uh, on the for the midterm, I can help you. Like remind me tomorrow in the morning so I can help you. Okay. In case you have the, any questions. The same, the same, in the same sense, the question. Yeah, teacher. probably. Okay. They right. are always uh -huh. okay. Yeah, they're a little bit complicated. All right, guys, so um, I'm going to let you go now. All right, because it's almost time to go. And this was the last class. And I have to get ready for the next class of my um, the other course I teach. I do want to uh, thank all of you for being with me during four weeks already. My goodness, time really like really flew for me. All right. So it was a very nice experience to work with you. All right. So I hope you learned something. And I hope yeah, to see you on TAFO 3. <laughs> right. So Thanks. guys, keep it up. All right, don't give up. I know sometimes it's a little bit complicated, a little bit difficult, especially if you have never done this before or you've never seen it before. But this is what it's about, to learn something new. All right? So okay. thank you so much for bearing with me, for dealing with me. All right? But I really had fun with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. All right, guys. Yes. Good All night. Right. Good night. Yes. I'll see you hopefully later. Please finish everything. If you need help, let me know and send me your essay. All right. So I can send all the reports, the response, respond, uh, the response uh, evaluation, and this one, the essay. All right. Okay. Teacher. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you later. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Later too. Yes, bye. See you later. See you later.